All right, I'm on 14th in Cleveland, and you can see this tree here behind me really shows how powerful those winds were. Completely uprooted the sidewalk as well, and unfortunately, this car taking the brunt of that tree's fall, the back just completely smashed in, and this tree was also blocking this road. It's a dead-end road for people earlier this morning. Samuel Ramirez's commute from Muskego to Milwaukee looked a lot different this morning. He said on my drive in, it was kind of every all over the place, you know, I mean, you didn't go far without seeing some type of uh, damage. And when he was about to make his final turn to clock in for the day. So we work on a dead end here, and so this is our only way in and out of work and um, come to turn and can't get down our street. So we're all forced to park at the end of the block and walk and our kind of at a standstill this morning as to what we can do. Many people face the same issue waking up this morning from trees blocking the roads to power lines dangling above alleyways and tree branches snapping and landing on houses. I don't think we have any damage, but I think the neighbor does. Iris Sanchez lives near Lapham Street and said lightning struck the tree in her backyard around 730 Tuesday night. She says it was horrifying. Me and my parents and everyone else were in the house and then this struck of lightning just like came out of nowhere into this tree and then like basically it went to the wires that were connected to like the other side of the neighbors and it just fell down there and it basically went like a light bulb of like electricity just like a flames i guess and like my parents were scared because like it happened near our rooms and we didn't know what to do and everything was just falling down and we didn't know what to do. This morning she and her family came out to assess the damage and a wee energies crew showing up around seven this morning to fix the down lines and hopefully bring a little light as neighbors begin cleanup efforts. And along with the WE Energies crew, we've also seen a few city cleanup crews as well working to get trees like this out of the way, but there are still quite a few hazards left out there. So if you are heading out anywhere, make sure you're using extra caution. Live in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.